side. It's important if you're going to understand how these things work. Best way to learn about how a computer works is actually put one together. Absolutely. So these are all the parts, even if you went out and bought a PC, this is all the stuff that you'd get. Pretty much, yes. Yeah. So what do you need? Well, other than a screwdriver with a Phillips head, okay. uh, you need a case, yeah. and I actually have an Antec Sonata case. This is actually a pretty case. It's actually a really nice case. If you notice the... Uh, if, if, uh, yeah, what should I look for? It's, you look for something that, one, is easy, easily be easily manageable. In other words, you can get stuff in and out of this it. Is, I've never seen anything like this. This is little drawers for the hard drive? For the hard drives. And so That's really nice. instead of having all the cables in your way, oh, instead of trying so to slide, it's much easier this way. Uh, the panel, even though there's a door, there's a nice little panel that makes it easy to access the drive bays. Of course, there's this little flip-up uh, um, USB firewire and audio connection port. All of those port. are nice features, but the truth is there's only one part that makes any difference functionally, and that's the power, power supply. supply. You but, want a good one. And you want a good one. Uh, if you buy an Antake, uh, an Antake, 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 makes good power an, an Antake case, they come with decent power yeah, supplies. Yeah. If you have an older case, you can upgrade the power supply and use the same case. I did. I went to PC Power and Cooling, got their silencer. It's a nice 400 watt. How big a power supply do you need? Um, you know, I... It used to be around 300 for me, but I'm mm -hmm. actually looking at 400 and up just to accommodate future upgrades. Mostly for the hard drives. The extra hard drives are really draw the power. Especially if you're going to be doing multiple drives, you're doing mm -hmm. video editing, you're going to right. want a lot of power. So we got the case. Yes. We got our screwdriver, a trusty screwdriver. Let's look at some of these parts that are going right. to go in the case. This here. is the most important part of the computer. This is actually could be considered kind of the backbone. And they call it the, the motherboard or the main board of the computer. Because it's the mother of all circuit exactly. boards. This is an MSI board. And the reason I chose this, uh, not only was it super cool, um, it supports a lot of inbuilt features. That's inbuilt USB 2.0. That inbuilt, means it's on the, on the board. It's you don't on have the board. To add I don't need to buy an extra card. It okay. has onboard firewire, so I don't need to add a card. Has, uh, if you look actually at the back, all of those ports are on here. The back, which so is they, really you've neat. got USB. You've got FireWire, four FireWire. I have ports. gigabit Ethernet, which is also backward compatible with uh, 110, 100 Ethernet, so I can still use a local area network without buying. That's a future card. upgrade it's down the road, it's but it's good to have it. You know? It's good to have it, and yeah. I can still use it with my existing network. Sound card built-in? It has built-in built sound 5.1 sound card with SPDIF, uh, so I can do digital audio out. So I don't need to buy an extra card for that. Excuse me? SPDIF? SPDIF, uh, okay. Sony, uh, Philips. Digital, digital inter interface, interface. Yeah, okay. um, Very has, impressive. <laughs> has serial ATA, which is the new kind of high standard for drive connectors. That's, has this, the, that's this orange thing? The orange yeah. thing. Has the little yellow uh, serial ATA 133, which used to be the fastest. Wait a minute, is that different from this? I don't yes. know. Yes. Uh, these actually are part of a larger RAID setup. It has an inbuilt oh. RAID controller. That means you can use multiple drives as one giant exactly. drive for reliability or speed. speed. Okay. Uh, has my, all my old uh, drive connectors, you know, ATA 100. This is where memory goes, this the RAM supports, slots. This uh, supports DDR. Fast RAM. Fast RAM. Uh, floppy connector. This is the video card connector here, the AGP. red thing. AGP. AGP 8X. 8X. Supports up to 8X. I haven't seen an 8X. AGP now, you're card. saying a lot of terms, and people are going to go, DDR, 8X, what are you talking about? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about no, it. No, don't it's worry about it. It's one of the things you'll learn if you do this. And if you go shopping, you'll actually come across a lot of these terms. So it's probably good to brush up so when you, when you are shopping and you you'll know what to look you get, you're understanding Where what you're doing. Where does the big processor go? Where's the, the brain go? The processor actually goes right here. This supports the new uh, Pentium 4, 478 pin. Are you going to put that in now? I'm going to put it in now because generally because processors, this, this is a guys. Pentium 4. This is so small. This is the whole thing, the heart of the computer. And actually, that's support circuitry, but underneath this, there's just a little thi fingernail-sized wedge of silicon. It's amazing how silicon. small it is, and it does so much. A lot of people at home are cringing because you and I are handling this with our bare hands. If you're doing this at home in a dry climate, we don't have problems with static And here. on carpet, make sure you, you ground yourself prior and you wear a static uh, a very wrist, wristband. Very sensitive. I recommend do never, ever touch don't do what we're doing. The, the pins. If you're, just gonna, did. if you're gonna if you're gonna hold don't this if you're gonna if you're gonna hold the processor hold it by the edge don't hold it by the pin. Just pins. did that. I, I ruined your process. You just touched the pin. No, you know I, I I used to be really cautious about all this until I had an Intel guy come and upgrade the processor and he just grabbed it. Oh, the it. reason I say that is while it's probably not gonna do anything, it's very possible to bend the pins and once Be the gentle. pin is 
bent. We're trained seems, professionals. Don't, um, you know, be careful. Yes. So, so pop that so sucker we're gonna in. Pop it in. You one need thing a hammer I'm, for that? No, actually, if you notice, there's a <laughs> notch right here. See how it's kind of cleaved okay. on one corner? Yeah. That matches up right here. And this is what they call a zero enforcing uh, force socket, which means I shouldn't have to force it with a hammer. <laughs> zero enforcing force. Insertion. There's no zero enforcing force. Zero so, Hey, look, it just slipped, slipped in there. It Slipped in, and I now just you close dropped the lever. The, and now it's in. in. We're gonna put a heat sink on top of that with a fan to but blow air But I'm gonna do that later that. after okay. I put the uh, processor in. So next, you're gonna mount the motherboard. We'll then go to the hard drives, the RAM, RAM. And all that stuff. We are out of time for that seg part of the segment. We're gonna come back. You've got a video card, but these are the parts that you're gonna then kind of start mounting in the motherboard exactly. and it, in the uh, main case. And if you get this all done, you've got now 40 minutes, 43 minutes. If you get this all done, I want to see this boot before the show's over. All right. You think you can do it? I think so. Go oh, do it! It's Thurston for it. Oh! It's zero yeah, and third, third and fourth. fourth. Zero and third and fourth. Coming up next, if you've got tons of time and tons of MP3s and you're looking for a way to, uh, to organize them, stay tuned because we're going to do that. It's our free file of the day coming up in just a bit on Call for Help. Plus, if you ever, uh, you know about Six Degrees of Separation. Yes. I know you because you know Kevin Bacon, that kind of thing. There's a new site called Friendster that works like that. We're going to show you the hottest new online community when Call for Help continues. I know Kat's really disappointed she isn't here today because she loves this next program the most out of possibly everyone at Tech TV, maybe even the world. Yes, folks, I'm talking about Friendster. I really can't get away from Friendster these days. This is the place where you go to meet people through people you already know online. I recently featured it on, on uh, Screen Savers, but I'm going to fill Kat's last dying request <laughs> and share it with you here today. This is the home page. This is my home page at Friendster. It's got my profile. It lets me know that I am, I am connected to 66,758 people. Now, that's a lot of people, and I don't know all of them. But basically, these are friends of the 17 friends that I have actually in my friends list. Here are some of them down here. Some of them have pictures. Some of them don't. It's, it's a lot better when they have pictures, but, you know, when people are in various stages of getting set up. Um, and basically, up here in the new people area, it's telling me that Brian, Ross, Alan, Greg, they're all new members of my personal network. So if I'm kind of trying to figure out who's new, who just got started, that would be the place to go. If I go to my own profile, here's where I can, you know, let people know a little bit more about me. I've got, I've got photos. Um, although Friendster can be used for dating, ooh, that's... That's big. <laughs> Although friends are can be used for dating, it's really not necessarily meant to be for dating. Um, for example, uh, I have interests, food, movies, parks, computers, blah, blah, blah. The kind of nice thing about this is that all these become clickable keywords. Uh, for example, one of my favorite TV shows is The Prisoner. And that's kind of weird, and a lot of people don't know uh, what The Prisoner is. But if I click on The Prisoner, I actually find quite a few people here that also have The Prisoner listed as their favorite TV shows, which is, I mean, I never run across these people in real life. So that's really cool, <laughs> you know? Now, if I, you know, I click down, like, ooh, Julian's favorite TV shows are Seinfeld and The Prisoner. It's like my dream guy. So if I click on Julian, I can, oh, he's in Vancouver, interesting. He likes a lot of the same music that I do, Radiohead, Stereo Lab, you know, so we could maybe strike up a friendship online. Only a friendship, of course. And, uh, you know, it, it's fun. It's fun. And here's some lovely photos that I want people to see so they can know more about how I used to dress terribly as a child. Oh, you're so cute. I know. So and cute. And there's a lot of other features, too. Um, there's a message center, you know, private messages, kind of like any message board. There's a bulletin board, which is really nice. So anybody in... Oh, dear. No, I will not accept. Um, anybody that's... Uh, that's in my, my vast personal network uh, can post messages and just kind of kind of let us know what's going on, you know, reach more people than you would have uh, at a party. Anyway, Friendster's great. I really like Friendster. Not as much as Kat, I don't think, but I really like Friendster. <laughs> You're and if over you it. Come know on. More, Face I, it. She's over it, folks. I'm not over it. I just have so many friends requests. I'm sorry. I yeah, don't request, uh, don't ask to be... Point, point that I need to make is... You can't request to be friends with someone that you don't know, because that is just not how friends do In works. real life. Right. Knowing you someone on know TV does not count. It's basically <laughs> what they're doing here is it's an online cocktail party. Yes. So, you know, if you, if you request to be friends with someone that you don't know, it's just sort of defeating the purpose. Anyway, there's a lot more online. If you want to know more about Friendster, just head on over to Tech TV.
Facebook.com slash call for help. That sounds weird to say. It is a little odd. It's taken me a help. while to get used to. Yeah. All right. Don't rush over to Friendster right now because, Sarah, you've just killed it. Sorry. It's dead as a doornail. I'm trying oh, to get into dear. Friendster to make you my friend. No, I've had to turn down people that I know only through me my message boards and stuff like that. I think you should only be friends with people you know physically in I mean, real that, life, don't that you think? That is the point. It's, it's yeah. tough to do. You know, you sort of feel bad a little bit. But yeah. Oh, well. Hey, we got a, 